It's Hawaii Island Week here on the show, and it continues now. And we stay in the volcano area with beauty everywhere. It's inspired a lot of local artists. It sure has, and the Volcano Art Center has a fine art gallery with workshops and classes. We stop by to take a look around. For Hawaii Island Week, Living 808 had to come to Volcanoes National Park, and we absolutely had to stop here at the Volcano Arts Center. Emily Weiss is going to give us kind of a tour of what you're all about. Thanks for having us out. Of course. Thank you for being here. Well, this is a very unique place for visitors to come. Tell me more about it. Sure. We are the Volcano Arts Center. We operate a fine art gallery inside of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which you've already been to today. And here at the education and office space, which is where we're at now, we call it Nialani. And we have all of our classes and workshops that take place here, visual art classes, workshops, cultural arts and workshops. We also have a sculpture garden, an outdoor sculpture garden that has a new exhibit in it that will be on display for a year and a half um, in the garden. So we invite people to come do that, as well as any of our other events that we're constantly putting on. This sounds like such a unique combination opportunity for people to come in, and what types of courses and educational opportunities specifically can they come do here? We offer all kinds of different workshops and classes. Uh, many of them are visual art based. People can dabble or are more advanced. Um, you know, people that are really experienced in the arts can continue to learn and expand on their particular art form. And we understand you're a nonprofit, so how does that figure into your role in the community and as part of the park itself? Sure. So our gallery in the park opened in 1974, so we've been there almost 45 years now. And um, we kind of outgrew that space. In the gallery, we do represent the artwork of almost 200 local artists right now, which is pretty spectacular. The artwork varies. We show all different media, um, a lot of locally you know, made art which focuses on woods of Hawaii and um, things that are unique. Our gallery is pretty special in the fact that a lot of our artwork is interpretive. It um, tells a story of either, you know, legends and myths of Hawaii or about the woods or about the um, things that you're going to experience in the park. So um, the park has invited us to be there so that we can kind of interact with people on another level. All right, to check out one of the highlights, the Sculpture Garden. Mike Nelson, you're the director here. Tell us about this amazing opportunity this for guests. This is an out outgrowth. This is our second year now. Just opened the new collection uh, with the State Foundation of Cultural Arts and our local artists. So when you walk around through the sculpture garden, you'll find a variety of different pieces. But the important fact is that we now have a place to showcase our local sculptures. And this is such a dramatic place, just here in the volcano. You hear the music of the birds. Yeah, it's, it's a spiritual place, as I would like to say. Surprisingly, how many people come up the hill to get away, but when they get here, then they just sort of mellow out. How do you feel about being a part of this community, especially after what has been endured here over the past year? The, the family atmosphere, the ohana here, the people receiving everything that's going on, taking it in stride. You know, we have a lot of love for the people down in Puna that have gone through tremendous times. The important factor is that you come up here for a particular reason. Everyone has their own individual reason they come up. But for me, it's a point where people can come in and settle any way that they want. Our goals at the Art Center is to meld art, nature, and people. And one of the things we're able to do is give a platform, whatever the type of art it is. Uh, so many people come to our workshops that have never tried ceramics, have never tried watercolors, have never tried oils. You see them immerse, you know, they go from being 60, 70 year old person to a 12 year old. And it's that sort of sparkle that you see in the, in the child's eye, the sparkle that happens in the people that come to the art center. It creates that sense of community which we wanted to accomplish. 
Mike, thank you so much for having us That's out. Okay, okay. Volcano Arts Center, a must-do when you visit Hawaii Island.